Hello. This video is going to be talking about tricky feelings, difficult feelings to have and just feelings in general. I wanted to start it off by uh, reading a poem by Rumi called The Guest House. This is a poem that, um, that I find quite profound and very helpful in how I experience feelings. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival a joy, a depression, a meanness. Some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all. Even if they are a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your home empty of its furniture. Still, treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, Meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whatever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. I like this poem for many different reasons, uh, but mainly because for me, it, it talks about how we can have a relationship with feelings or how we can experience feelings in a way that um, isn't scary or we're not trying to avoid or deny a feeling, but rather to experience um, a feeling and see that in fact it may lead to opportunities. Um, it doesn't necessarily uh, last as long as we think. and It doesn't have to be as scary as we think. Um, I saw a, a picture on social media just uh, today that kind of shared like this, this line and it was um, this line of like how long we think a feeling is going to last. And so the color was, was pink uh, to, to signify and there was like a line that just went across. And so there was a black line and then the pink line that said, this is how long we think a feeling is going to last. And it was like this big line, it was maybe like three quarters of the, of the line. And then beneath it, there was another little line that said, this is how long a feeling actually lasts. And you've got the black line and you've got the pink that's like maybe this, this much of it. And then the rest is a black line. So typically speaking, I think that in the anticipation of certain feelings, we tend to think that they're going to be much more intense or much longer or much scarier than, than what they usually are. Um, so this, this topic is, is about how to deal with tricky feelings, how to deal with feelings that are, are difficult to have. And I think in, um, in our society, we are kind of taught to, to do a couple things with feelings. One of them is to um, like chase or gather a feeling that we really, really love. And so for example, the feeling of happiness or excitement or joy or something that we're always kind of thriving and striving to have that feeling and to have lots of that feeling, the pursuit of happiness. Um, and another thing that we're kind of taught and generally speaking is um, to like not let bad feelings in um, to avoid or, or deny them. So if you kind of imagined yourself as a, as a person inside a little house, uh, that was my little symbol for a house, and you think about feelings, um, there are some that we invite in and we're like, oh yes, come on in, take up all the space you want. So feelings of happiness or joy or peace or calm. And then there are other feelings um, like sadness or, or pain that, that we might say, no, I don't want to have, or anxiety, I don't want to have this feeling. And so we'd slam the door in its face. And the thing is the guest, the feeling, um, doesn't just go away like that. So usually what ends up happening, if you imagine your, your kind of house, is that that feeling just keeps trying to find a way to get in and ends up just sticking around a lot longer than it needs to, which can cause problems. So this idea of, um, of the Rumi poem, and also another book that I came across, is that if we, if we think of feelings as guests, if we think of feelings as visitors, that um, we can then interact with it in a very curious way instead of being, um, if being scared or uh, of being uh, reluctant to experience a feeling, even if it's one that we think may not be a great feeling to have. So I wanted to quickly share this resource. Um, this is a book that I picked up a little while ago there. <laughs> it's called Visiting Feelings. Um, and I, I really like this book. 
So if you have a chance to, to read it or pick it up, I mean, this feeling, this book really talks about um, that concept and it's done so with some beautiful artwork uh, and kind of a poetic uh, read to it. Uh, maybe I'll just read, you know, one or two pages just to have a bit of a sense of it. So the first page is, do you have a feeling that's visiting today? Can you open your door and invite it to play? Can you ask what it wants and then check it out? Welcome to it, welcome it and listen to what it's about. What if the feeling plays hide and seek and won't let you see not even a peek? Here's an idea, a good one to try. Look at the feeling with wide open eyes. And it kind of goes on from there and, and it invites people to kind of think about what that feeling um, sounds like, feels like, uh, smells like, the sensations. And so it's, it's really a curious approach to feelings. So I really like this. And um, I, I just really wanted to take some time to, to sit with that and, and just invite you to, to think about the different feelings that you're experiencing and approaching it with curiosity. Uh, and be and asking questions of it. What what does this feeling want me to know? Uh, treating feelings as a bit of a barometer of telling us what's going on, and that way it can allow us to reflect on it a little bit differently, and um, to maybe have a little bit of a different relationship with different feelings. Uh, so I I am just wanting to show one other thing. Okay, so if you're on board with this. Uh, feelings as visitors, or you're at least on board with trying that out, um, I, I would invite you to maybe try a little bit of a journaling exercise. So I'm just going to show one. There are so many ways to journal, but I was just feeling really inspired by um, someone who shared this with me uh, just the other day. And so the, the idea is a box journaling. Okay, so this is just like the template. I'm just kind of putting it in there for the camera to see. Okay, and so as you can see, at the very, very top of the box journaling idea, there's a, a place for the date and you can put the location of where you were when you box journaled. Then in the um, left hand here at the top, there's a free write. So this is where I would invite you to um, just freely write about the feeling that you're experiencing. So if you're feeling really anxious about something or you're feeling really um, stressed about something, to just kind of start there, like this is what I'm feeling and just blah, 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 blah. No censoring on the free write. If you run, run out of room, you can always like free write on the other side of the page as well. And then on the, um, the side, the right side next to the free write, there's this thing, this is ideas. Um, so this is an area where you can add ideas in terms of, you can pluck ideas out, out of the free write in terms of um, phrases, key phrases, themes, or lists of prompts. Um, or ideas of, of what to do with this feeling. So that can be where that kind of inspiration goes. And then beneath here, there's a little bit of a, a space for a drawing. So drawing how you're feeling. And that could be scribbles, symbols, um, you know, a little little doodles or little stick figures. So just being able to, to create an image that captures that feeling. And then at the very end there in the left-hand corner, there's the miscellaneous. So this is where you can add whatever you need. You need to add a little bit more writing. If there's an idea or a quote or something you want to focus on for the day, or if there's something that kind of came out of your drawing that gave you a little bit of inspiration, you can add that there. So I just want to share that as a, as a way of like, what do we do if we're being curious about our feelings and we're on board with um, feelings as visitors, what kind of things can we do uh, with that to, to reflect on it a little bit more? So there's an idea. Um, okay. My name is Chantal Cote. I am a registered psychologist in the province of Alberta, uh, working with older children, teens, and young adults who are looking to rid themselves of unhelpful, anxious, and negative thoughts and feelings. My hope and goal is that all young people can see their greatness, their uniqueness, and be able to share those gifts with the world. Thank you.